Hello, Greater Bay Area small business owners. Welcome to the Light the Fire Inside You episode of Small Business by the Bay. We have all sorts of news, trends, and resources for you to enter the red tier. So get ready. Let's go. It's time to make owning and running your small business a whole lot easier. From Marin to Monterey, I travel the Greater Bay Area each week to bring you news, trends, tech, resources, and interviews that will help transform your business. The Bay Area Small Business Doctor is in. All right, everyone. Welcome to the Light the Fire Inside You episode of Small Business by the Bay. And I chose this theme uh, due to two reasons. The first is the fact that many of you are re-entering the, the red tier and hopefully the, the orange and so on in the near future. And really, it is like a grand reopening of your business. And I want you to, to think back to the feelings that you and the, the fire that was inside you when you first opened your business. Maybe it's a year, two years, plus 10 years. Uh, but remember that time where you did everything in your power to get customers through your door to your website. Go back to that. I want you to reinvigorate that fire that you had because now is the time because many of you are in a great deal of debt and you have to make more money, a great deal more money to get back in a good place than you were making, what, now, two years ago. So go to it. The other inspiration was uh, my watching a brand new business owner. Literally, he opened up last weekend. His name is SC Bread Boy here in Santa Cruz, and he makes delicious bread. I am uh, going to be visiting him soon to get some myself to sample it. But he is just on fire. You need to watch his content that is on Instagram. So here's a peek. Okay, so speaking of cash, I have three financial updates that you definitely need to keep on your radar. They're coming up soon. So first up, the California Relief Grant Program is excited to announce that they have four more rounds of free cash coming your way. I know a lot, not a lot, whole lot of businesses got the first two rounds. So stay tuned. There's a lot of details. All the links to find out more are below this video. Second up, the PPP program has some exciting news with the new administration in place for business owners that have less than 20 employees. And lastly, the back to business program is was specifically made for black and minority owned businesses that have less than 10 employees and it's a $10,000 grant program. So definitely check that out. Everything is below this video to find out more, to sign up and all that good stuff. Okay, so a crowd favorite is the small business owners to watch segment. I'm gonna switch things up a little bit for this episode though. And I want you guys to check out some of our region's visitors bureaus. Uh, I have always been a fan of what they do because they are in the business of attracting thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of visitors to their region each year. And they don't always have the biggest of budgets to do so. But check out their websites, check out their Instagram, their YouTube, everything, and really look at how maybe their model or what they do to market themselves could maybe apply to your business. Uh, when it comes to Instagram, many of them use the guides, which I'm a fan of because that allows you to really curate your posts that are in your feed, going as far back as you want. And you can actually curate other people's posts as well that maybe apply to that. So you can look at itineraries, you can look at recipe books, gift guides, the list goes on in terms of how you can really maybe model something related to your business um, after these guys. So definitely check out Visit Napa County um, or Napa Valley. Then check out Visit Marin, Visit Santa Cruz, and Visit Santa Cruz County, and also Monterey uh, and San Mateo County and Silicon Valley. Uh, I'll have all the links below here so you can check them out. But definitely take a peek into what they're up to. They're used to doing a whole lot with not much at all, and they do a really good job at it. Okay, so you guys have probably been wondering, maybe, uh, hopefully, <laughs> about the cash and coffee program. Well, I'm not gonna release the news about who's gonna be the first coffee shop, 
but I am going to release some exciting news because when I made this announcement last week, actually one of my strategic partners said, I'm in, count me in. So we basically doubled the investment that we're gonna be giving coffee shops and I'm gonna be inviting a couple more strategic partners to participate. So I'm gonna probably triple and quadruple, if not more, the amount of money that is going into this program to get coffee shop owners a little bit of cash and to get the surrounding business owners in that area fired up with a little bit of caffeine that day. So stay tuned, many more details coming super soon. Okay, so hot headlines to keep you in the know. Um, <laughs> we got three this, this week. And the first one comes from the East Bay Times. And the first article is definitely worth uh, checking out the details. It comes from the East Bay Times and it's all about the Claremont Spa, a club and spa, and they have their Limewood Bar and Restaurant who they are doing a weed and food pairing. And granted, they're not growing the weed at the, at the Claremont, but they are have partnered with the Apothecarium, I think it's in Berkeley, and so it's a it's a take home meal that you then uh, talk to a, a cannabis expert and the the chef on Zoom. Uh, Two hundred and sixty six dollars for this experience, but it's not the first uh, of its kind. But definitely coming from the Claremont, definitely something that is not expected. So below the video, you can find the link and get a few more details about this story that definitely caught my attention. Okay, so the next article is from the San Francisco Chronicle and it really documents the fact that the Facebook and Apple privacy issue is going to be impacting small businesses. If you've ever done a Facebook and Instagram ad, you've appreciated, as a business owner at least, the level of targeting that you can do. But with the update to the iOS um, software coming up, uh, iOS 14, you are then, when you are using an app, you are gonna be asked whether you will allow them to track you. And I think for most of the consumers out there, uh, they will not want that to happen. So if that happens, probably in the masses, those folks are not going to want to be followed. And so there's a whole level, detailed level of targeting that is gonna disappear. Not completely, but it's gonna be minimized in terms of your reach. So if you're used to having this amount of money coming through the door due to spending this much on Facebook and Instagram ads because you've targeted, say, coffee lovers or yoga uh, lovers or whatever it might be, uh, certain types of shoppers, that will be impacted. Uh, your bottom line will be impacted. So stay tuned, more details. Link for this article is down below this video as well. All right, this last article is also from the Chronicle and it's all about documenting what's happening in Japantown. As many of the tenants are deeply, deeply in debt, they say tens of thousands of dollars in debt. Um, I'd, I'm kind of surprised that number isn't higher, but maybe that's uh, for the most part an average. I'm not quite sure. But it just, just really speaks to an actual like destination that could potentially be decimated and disappear and have to wait for it to rebuild years down the line. So definitely check out the article. Uh, the link is below this video. Uh, it's interesting because this is happening all throughout the Bay Area in different business districts and downtown areas as you see more and more uh, folks closing up shop just because of the massive debt. So as I've mentioned before, one service that you can, that which is free, uh, is definitely calling up your SBDC, your Small Business Development Center. Most of the SBDCs have someone on the advisory team that can help you renegotiate your lease, uh, apply for rent relief, and help you through that process. So definitely do everything you can to fight this situation if you're in the thick of it. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching Small Business by the Bay. This was a great episode. But I want to thank our presenting sponsor, your local small business development center. Ours is here in Santa Cruz at santacruzsbdc.org. If you're in Monterey County, just go to calcoastalsbdc.com. And if you're anywhere throughout Northern California, just go to askspdc.com to find yours. So until next time, be sure to go big with your business, get fired up, and we'll see you soon. Bye, everyone.